Uh, yo ho, hello there. My name is Shelby Stokes. Shelby Stokes is my name. A new challenger approaches. That's what it feels like is going on. I am the newest addition to Chasing Nerd Cred, and I'm going to take a stab at the gamer's journey. This is going to be my first video, and essentially what I want to talk about is starting over and motivation. You know, if you look at the stuff that Philip has put together in the recent past, it talks a lot about like motivation and philosophy and where we're going and how video games fit into that. And I think a lot of the reason that we are tackling those issues, Phil and I, is because we are saying goodbye to the channel that was underpowered, that is underpowered. Um, now, if you're here without knowing what that is, that's a whole other gaming channel. And essentially it started during a pandemic. It was me and another guy who started things because we were bored and had nothing to do. So we got on the internet and we just talked about the games, something that we were passionate about. And from that, the idea came building a community and then it became a discord and different outlets and different channels. And then we were like, hey, let's provide value. Like if you're gonna watch this, why would you spend time watching this? Okay, we're gonna tell people what games to play. And from that came interviews and eventually we grew to a place where we had created this machine that was too much to hold up on our own. And from that came the integration of new people. And I was blessed enough to get Phil in my life and Eric. And before you know it, there was four of us and we're all kind of doing our own thing and finding our voice. And what ended up happening is we were all pushing in different directions. We all had different focuses and it was cool to watch the channel grow and flourish. And by the end, I think what my goal became was a focus on, okay, I can justify playing video games if I turn it into content. And that seems a little hollow at times, right? Because then you have a motive. But essentially, where I was at the end of the life of that channel was focusing to hit a certain benchmark in, in, in the number of views. And I was so hyper-focused on views that when UP kind of broke up in this last month and a half, I found myself like, what is my motivation here? Why am I continuing to create shorts and talk into a camera? And I think that's what I've been wrestling with for like the last six weeks is like, where do I go next? What do I want to do? And I'm at a point where I have really meditated a lot about it and given it some thought and watching Phil's content, it speaks to like, why do we do what we do? Why do we choose to make the choices we make or put as much input into something like this? And I think the answer becomes, you do it for self-fulfillment. You do it for a sense of purpose. And that is where I am resonating. You know, when I took this month long break to kind of figure out where I was gonna go and what I was gonna land on, I found that I had created a created a creative muscle. In other words, I had this ability to create and put an idea out on canvas or on video, and I didn't have a home for that content. And it felt very empty, right? And it's not just video games, it's life. It's, hey, that's a funny idea. Hey, this could be something. It might not be something, but let's try it. And I truly found myself lacking or missing that creative outlet. So I told Phil, hey, as of September 1st, I'm in. I'm here. So if you're used to seeing Phil and you're seeing Shelby, that's why. The new challenger approaches, as I said. I'm part of this team. I'm excited about this team. and I don't know where it's going to go. But without an outlet, I'm not flexing a creative muscle and I'm not as good as a person on the whole. You know, I heard somebody very profound say that 80% of what you do should be on pushing the ball forward, on making money, on being in the track that you're set forth upon. And 20% of your time and energy should go to something new, right? Whether it be like a new business adventure or a, a creative endeavor or reading a book, you know, 20% of your overall time should be to the new or the exciting and what strikes your fancy. And I haven't been in a place where that 20% has been filled. So here I am. I've developed a creative outlet and I find that my motivation is not money or views. And at one point it was views just to say, hey, me and my friends are putting all this time into something and here it is, here it is. And it would be a way to like justify what I was doing. But I'm here to say, I don't need the justification. 
I do this because I want to do this. And I'm building this new project alongside somebody that I'm proud to be building with. And I think that I've never been in a situation where I'm so copacetic with somebody like Philip. And I'm excited to see where this continues to go. And that's not a, a slight or speaking down to uh, members of the past because what got us here is something that's magical. And it was just a passion. Like, hey, you like this, you like this? Let's just mash it together and make something. And in this world of the internet, we found that these different places that we're pushing are very different from one another, and that's okay. Um, so to like close the chapter on UP is a little bit difficult for me to process because it's three and a half years of my life, right? It's three and a half years, and here we go starting over from zero. And as I think about it, with Starfield, this new RPG that's coming out, about to be on my mind completely, I keep thinking to myself, this is my new game plus. I am starting over on a new channel with better skills, more abilities, and a different passion. The character that I create in this new game plus is going to push and focus in a different direction. And it's not good, it's not bad, but it is what it is. And if you're watching this, I urge you to really try to divine, define what your motivation is and take some time to think about what drives you, like what makes you do what you do. And for me, I found that it's my love of this medium of video games. I don't believe there's anything out there that can hold a candle to what video games can do for a person and an experience. I think if you watch a movie, it's completely different. If you play a phone game, it's completely different. If you sit down and you are totally immersed into an experience, you can experience something that we have never seen on this planet before. And that is what excites me. Now, if you're here for the journey, we're going to have fun. We're going to laugh. We're going to talk about games. We're going to get philosophical at times and we're okay for it. And by the way, I'm bringing the Backlog Battler back. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a series, and I don't know what that looks like yet, but we're gonna continue to talk about games and our love of the medium. This is my new game plus, and I urge you to find your new game plus. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.